we got asked a great question. If you had to point out one to two drills to work on T, to work off the T, or training device for enforcing proper swing path, what would that be? Take it away, Steve-O. Coach, that's a great question. I have uh, two props here that we like to use for swing path, or making sure that our players stay in the hitting zone for as long as we can. The first is just a PVC pipe, and the second one is a connection ball. I use this in almost every single one of my lessons. There's multiple ways to use it, and it's a great investment for you to uh, make for your players you know, to, to incorporate different drills at practice. The first one, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk about swing path using the connection ball. There's a couple different ways you can use this. The first one, the one that I use uh, most of the time, is I'll take the connection ball, kind of put it on their chest, bicep, forearm, in their front arm, okay? Because what you'll see a lot of guys do in their swing path, a lot of them will get to contact and kind of work right across their body. And you'll hear every coach use the term rollover or you know stay through it a little bit longer. So I really like this one because they get to their launch position and as they're getting ready to swing, this forces their front arm to work directly back up through the middle of the field. I always like to say wherever this front elbow leads, usually the knob's gonna follow. So if I'm a batter and I'm getting ready to hit and my front elbow starts working across my body, you can see my barrel is already working out and around. So my, my path is now this way instead of more through the middle of the field. So again, put that connection ball kind of on their chest, bicep forearm area, and now as they start entering the hitting zone, that front elbow kind of works at the pitcher, and it's more direct right here. They can freeze right at extension. You'll notice my forearms or my elbows stay separated, right? I'm not in this position where they get super tight. You keep that proper spacing in their elbows, and now when we get to contact, I'm palm up, palm down, and I'm able to freeze, and that ball actually stays right in their arm. So I'll just demonstrate a few here. Coach Duke's gonna side toss, and I'm gonna freeze, palm up, palm down. You can see my front elbow is working up and through instead of down and across where they yank it. So that's drill number one. Drill number two, you can do it uh, you know, just as a station, but I'm gonna have Coach Duke actually hold this PVC pipe. And all this is gonna do is simulate the, the flight or the path of the pitch. And as a hitter, we talked about it a little bit earlier in one of our previous videos, we wanna swing slightly uphill to match the plane of the ball, all right? We don't wanna swing downhill, we don't wanna swing super uphill. Our goal is to keep that barrel in the hitting zone for as long as we can. So just in slow motion, this can be a drill off to the side. Your players are gonna get connected, they're gonna get to contact, and they're gonna work through on this PVC pipe as long as they can. You'll see a lot of guys, they'll kind of get here and cut it across. So again, work on getting tight, staying through that pitch, and kind of gliding their barrel along the top of the pole as long as they can. Those are just two easy drills that you can incorporate at practice to help build that swing path for your players.